world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone, when Durin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and dales, he drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror mirror, and saw the crown of stars appear. His gems upon a silver thread, above the shadow of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall, and elder days before the fall. Mighty kings and auger thronged, and Gondolin, who now beyond the western seas have passed away, the world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was on carven throne, and many pillared halls of stone. With golden roof and silver floor, the runes of power upon the door. The light of sun and star and moon, in shining lamps, crystal hewn, undimmed by cloud or shade of night, there shone forever fair and bright. Their hammer on the anvil smote, their chisel clove and graver wrote. Their forge was blade, and bound was hilt, the delver mind, the mason built. Their apparel, bull and opal pale, and metal wrought like fish's mail. Buckler and corslet, axe and sword, and shining spears were made in hoard. Unweary then were Durin's folk, beneath the mountains music woke. The harpers harped, the minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpets rang. The world is grey, the mountains old, the forge's fire is ashen cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. The darkness dwells in Durin's halls. The shadow lies upon his tomb, in Moria, in Gaza doom. And still the sunken stars appear, in dark and windless mirror mirror. There lies his crown in water deep, till Durin wakes again from sleep.